Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a Mighty Mac Chipper Shredder. It has a three horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on it. Uh, the customer brought it in the other day. They bought it at an auction sale. The auctioneer couldn't get it running, so they got, the guy said he paid for like $5 for it. But he brought it here. It has good compression, has good spark, but there's a lot of debris in the tank, so. We'll probably take the tank off, clean the carburetor, see if we can't get it going. So, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we'll go ahead and take the air filter off. And we'll take the air filter base off. Okay, here's our carburetor. And you can tell it's an older one because it has a Phillips screws, though. Newer versions of these, before they quit making the flatheads were Torx heads, but these are Phillips screws. So we're gonna go ahead and take, we're gonna go ahead and take this throttle and on off choke assembly off. There's two screws that hold that one on. And we'll unhook this choke assembly. And we'll just lay this right here. We'll only take off that kill wire. We'll set that out of the way. What we gotta take? There's two screws that hold the carburetor onto the engine. And we got one three eighths on the bottom to take it off the bottom of the block to take this whole assembly off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this three eighths out of the bottom here. It's Okay, I'll get a long flat screwdriver. Take them. There's a bolt right here, and there's one right down here. And there's one over here. You really can't get a screwdriver. Can't get a really good angle at that. We got to use a three eighths inch wrench. Loosen it up. I'm going to hook a few things here real quick. We got the spring here. I'm going to take that off so we don't stretch that out. Pop that linkage out of there so when we get the tank loose, it won't, won't bend anything. But once you break that bolt loose, you kind of sneak in here with a screwdriver and basically screw it out. And get a skinnier one here. Take this kill wire off the base down here. Okay, now we can unhook the throttle linkage there. That gasket's in really good shape. And there we go. So let's go ahead and pop that carburetor off the tank next. Okay, let's go ahead and take this carburetor off this tank. Move that choke linkage out of the way here. Let's go ahead and take that off for now. There's your screen. See how dirty that is? There's a lot of junk in the tanks. We're going to clean that tank out really good. And that pickup bowl right here we're gonna get that cleaned out some surface rust in the tank we'll put some carburetor cleaner and swish it around but yeah when they made these kind of a kind of a neat design at the time we're gonna take this part here there's a diaphragm under here it pumped the gas from the tank into here and it dropped it in this little cup right here then your jet is right here fits in this little cup on the top of the tank then it siphons up through there into the venturi or the carburetor so this diaphragm here just pumps the gas into that tank and the gas sits in this little cup on top and it goes right in through here and into the engine i think it was kind of a neat design at the time at the time i'm gonna take a razor blade and clean this old gasket off here clean it off here and 
let's pop this side panel off. So we're gonna replace that diaphragm too. Then we pop this off. You gotta be careful. It's like a little spring and a little ring in there. We don't want to lose either one. And here's your diaphragm, and here's your little spring and ring right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the carburetor cleaner and clean it really good. And make sure that jet, that's your jet right there. Make sure you spray carburetor cleaner in there. And it goes inside the carburetor. And if you're spraying this hole right here, the carburetor cleaner will shoot out and it'll clean that spring or that screen out really good. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the carburetor cleaner, but let's scrape that gasket off real quick. Okay, someone tried gluing that at one time. Okay, I'll get that all cleaned out. And I'm going to spray some carburetor cleaner tank. Let that sit for a while and get it all cleaned out. And we'll go ahead and put it all back together again. Okay, it's got her cleaned up. And before you before put it back together, spray carburetor cleaner in that jet. Make sure it's not plugged up. Then blow carburetor cleaner in that top one. And it'll shoot out here. See how nice and clean that screen is now? And I put carburetor cleaner in there. That looks way nicer than it was. And I blew it out really good. So we're going to put this diaphragm in first. This is a silver streak. I buy these in packs of 10. But the replacement number for the Brig is the 270026. And the silver streak is the 49-004. That's that diaphragm. I buy them in bulk because I use them all the time. But we'll go ahead and put that spring and that protective ring on. That's so it don't damage the diaphragm. Go ahead and tighten them up. Okay. All right. Took all that old gasket off there. I call these like the base gasket or whatever. And that's the stems. I buy these on 10 packs too, but the stems number is a 4, 4, 486-385. And the Briggs number is a 692241 or a 4158. You can buy them singly or you can buy them in packs of five or ten i think you can buy them in packs of 25 i believe too there we go i won't tighten that one all the way then for this vent i'll get this one started Okay, now we can go ahead and put it back on the engine. Okay, I'll put this governor rod back on here. Now we're just going to start this top one here, then we'll get the other ones. I'll right, get that one started. And we'll get this linkage put back on here. There we go. Now we'll put this bottom, bottom 3 8 bolt in. We're not going to tighten it all the way. And we'll do this one on the side of there. See if I can get a better angle out of here. I'll use like a pair of needle nose. Get it like halfway straight in there and just try getting it started. There we go. That's why we have this top one loose. We kind of swivel the tank a little bit. There we go. Now we'll take our 3 8 inch wrench. And we go ahead and tighten this one down because we got the other one started already. And we got the bottom one started too, so go ahead and tighten the bottom one up. And while we're over here, let's hook that linkage spring back up. There we go. That's why I take it out before we start taking everything apart because I don't want that stretched out or anything. All right, choke linkage here. All right, so let's go ahead and. That one nice and snug. Choke linkage is bent a little bit or what, but it's kind of binding up here. I guess if I put it on the right way, it'd probably help, huh? Okay. There we go. Fits a lot better. Now we'll put these two screws in. 
for that control panel. Okay, the choke's working. And the throttle's working. I see that. Pins here kind of bent for some reason. Well, there we go. Got that. We might as well put the new plug in. Well, we got it right here. And we'll put the air cleaner assembly on. And being just sat for a long time, I'm just going to spray a little WD-40 in there. Just kind of makes a little bit of lubrication on the rings and everything. And I'm using the Briggs plug. It's a 796112. It's the same as one of 19s. Same exact thing as this, uh, RJ19LM. They're just a Briggs plug. Okay, I better hook the, put this kill wire back on down here. Okay, no uh, air cleaner base. And probably shut the choke in case you drop one of them screws in there so it's easier to get out. Go ahead and snug them all down now. Okay, I'm definitely going to put a new filter on there. And I'll take it off the table, put some gas in it, and I might take it outside and chip up a branch or two. Okay, I just put some premium fuel in there. Let's see what it does. Put it on fast and choke. I said we take it outside and try chipping up a branch. Well, for a little chipper, that thing works pretty good. That'd be good for like apple wood or mesquite or hickory or something for your grill. But anyways, it seems to work great. It's not no commercial chipper, but for residential picking up small branches around your property. But anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, have a good whole well, evening now. So have a good evening.